Hi, I'm Amir Hussain Mirza Bozord, and in this video, I want to talk about Abacus Tutorial 2A Property Module from Beginning to Advance. How to ask your video related questions. Don't hesitate to ask any questions you might have about the explanations presented in this video using the comments below. We try to answer all questions regarding the video details in the comments below. This is the table of content. I will talk about what is the role of property module, how to define a material in the property module, how to pick up the proper behaviors to add to the material properties, how to define section and assign it to the solid parts. This is the property module. Now I want to talk about the role of property module. This module is the second module of Abacus CAE. In this module, we can define the material for each part and we can specify the material orientation for materials like composites and we can determine the profile and beam orientation for the wire parts which will be meshed using beam elements and finally, we can define point mass and inertia for reference point from the special menu bar. Now I want to define a material named a steel that includes elastic mechanical behavior. The Young's modulus of a steel is approximately 200 gigapascals. As the unit of length in my model is millimeter, so the unit of stress and Young's modulus will be megapascal. So, I must enter the value of Young's modulus in megapascal. So, it will be 200,000 megapascal. And the Poisson's ratio does not have unit. So, its value is not dependent on the unit of length. I go to Abacus to define this material. I go to Property Module. I click on Create Material. I name it steel. From the mechanical tab, I select elastic and I enter the values. Now this material is created. After creating the material, we must define a section and assign the material to the section. As our geometry is solid, I must define a solid section. I will define a solid homogeneous section and assign the steel material to this section. I click on create section, solid homogeneous and I select steel. After defining the section, we must assign it to the geometry. When you assign a section to the geometry, its color will change to this color. This color is near green. If you assign section for two times to a geometry, its color will be changed to yellow. And this is wrong. And the color of all of the deformable parts in the property module must be like this color. I go to Abacus to do this. I click on assign section. I deactivate create set because we do not need to create set in the property module. And I select the whole geometry and I click on done and I click on OK. Now I want to talk about how to pick up the proper behaviors to add to the material properties. When defining a material, what behaviors to use depends on physics of the problem and phenomenon which must be simulated. About physics of the problem, for example, if the problem is dynamic, density must be defined, or if the problem is thermomechanical, both of the mechanical and thermal properties must be defined. And about the phenomenon which must be simulated, for example, 
An appropriate plastic model must be selected to simulate the ratcheting phenomenon in the ductile metals under cyclic loading. Or, for simulating element removal, an appropriate damage model must be selected. And, in the high-speed dynamic simulations, such as impact or explosion, a rate-dependent mechanical behavior must be defined, such as the Johnson-Cook plastics. This is a typical full-range stress-strain curve of ductile materials. This is the elastic region, this is the plastic region, and this is the damage region. The whole curve can be defined as temperature dependent. Also, the plastic region can be defined as rate dependent. Several plastic models are available to define the plastic region. The damage region can be described by either the fracture mechanics or continuum damage mechanics. These are two different procedures and two different theories uh, to define and simulate damage in the FE models. And this is a typical full range stress strain curve of hyperelastic materials. To simulate the damage of hyperelastic materials under cyclic loading, the Mullins effect can be added to the material definition. And hyperelastic materials do not exhibit any plastic deformation, so there is no need to define the plastic region for them. In the following tutorials, you will learn to define section for conventional shells and beams in Abacus. Moreover, I will exemplify other tools and capabilities of the property mush. You can contact me by using Telegram or WhatsApp, or you can send email to me. We can have one-on-one -on -one tutoring on the AnyDesk, WhatsApp, and we can make special tutorials to your order. We can conduct high-quality simulations for your thesis, exercises, and industrial projects. Now I want to suggest you several related videos of our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good time. Goodbye.